Hello internet and welcome back to the most inquisitive channel on YouTube, life's biggest questions. That cosmic place between reality and endless sleep, where we worship our one true queen, the black goat of the woods with a thousand young. Come on guys, she's great, really. What's going on question is, as always I'll be your host Jack Finch as we pledge our eternal servitude to the great old ones and outer gods alike and nonchalantly ask the question, what if Shub Niggerath was real? Roll the clip. Yeah, yeah, Shub Niggerath. Black goat of the woods, blessed be us, your faithful servants, the destroyers of light. Fear not guys, this video is anything but fractured and well, we'll be relying on some pretty legit canonical sources to paint ourselves a picture of a world where Shub Niggerath is warmly smiled upon more so than the Queen of England herself. Before you do that though, you know how it goes guys, if you're a fan of this video, HP Lovecraft or the worship of abyssal cosmic entities then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe bell so you can stay today with our latest and greatest uploads. Also why don't you go ahead and share it with a friend or potential Cthulhu cultist so you can disseminate the spread of eldritch influence in a much more efficient manner. Now it's no deep mystery that the works of HP Lovecraft have inspired an entire school of thought in horror. The idea of a great twisted writhing beast of such immense grotesqueness and infinite cosmic power that the human mind can't even begin to comprehend their inner workings and are thus driven to complete and utter madness. Still though that hasn't stopped Hall of fictional zealots making it their life's work to usher in the reign of great old one and outer god alike. None of these are more beloved than Shub Niggerath herself, like a weird, twisted, ginormous Taylor Swift capturing the hearts and minds of bright young budding cultists the entire universe over. Really, she's great, don't judge a book by its cover. Shub let's call her Shub, it's got a ring to it, first appeared in 1928's The Last Test, a short story that was published in the Weird Tales anthology series. Since that first appearance her legend had grown like a mighty meaty seed and sprawled its tentacles across all facets of the Lovecraft mythos, being picked up by more recent authors such as August Dereleth, Lynn Carter and Brian Lumley. In all seriousness they can't get enough of our cosmic queen in waiting. Shub Niggerath is an outer god that also goes by the name the Black Goat of the Woods with a thousand young. She is a perverse fertility deity said to appear as an evil cloud like entity. She's an enormous mass extruding black fleshy tentacles, slime dripping mouths and short writhing goat legs. As a bonus small creatures are continually spat forth from her maw which are either consumed into the miasmatic form or escape to be some offshoot monstrous life form elsewhere in the universe. Out of all of the Lovecraftian deities Shub Niggerath is undoubtedly the most extensively worshipped. Her hit list includes the hyper Boreans, the Movians, the Tyog of Kanath, that's got a ring to it, the people of the planet Sarnath and an uncountable number of primitive druidic and barbaric cults across the cosmos, including Earth. She's so beloved that even non-humanoid life forms worship her, the Migo, a fungal based species and the Nugsoth, an insectoid almost reptilian race. What's great about Shub is that she's so accessible and doesn't discriminate on who or what can possibly meet the parameters for her love. She's all ears. Literally. Shub Niggerath can be summoned to any woodland at the time of the new moon and it's a pretty straightforward utilitarian procedure. She wants to be ushered in and welcomed to the world like a bright, beautiful, blossoming, writhing mass. Yeah, you, you get the picture. But what if she was real right now, right here in 2018? We as humans systematically hang our shared adoration on pretty much anything and anyone. Charles Manson had more than his fair share of misguided cult of personality. People worship the Kardashians, the Paul brothers, even mumble rappers. So why not add a colossal brood mother to that celebrity list? How there are many more benefits than just a lousy maverick t-shirt if you dedicate your life's worship to the black goat of the woods with a thousand young and you won't even have to pay for it. Take a more life as an example. In The Moon Lens, a short story written by Ramsey Campbell in 1964, we're given insight into a particular ritual of the goth and hubdak, Shub Niggerath, a cult of her favourite once human worshippers. When the deity deems a cultist more than worthy, a special ceremony is held in which the black goat of the woods ingests the initiate through her womb and then rebirths the cultist as a weird, transformed, satyr-like being. And guess what? 
they're immortal too. How generous is that, right? Why would you want a new pair of Yeezys when you could be modeling immortality and a brand new pair of hooves instead? All of that could be yours for the small price of eternal servitude and your new relocation to a woodland area alongside like-minded people. You'll get to wear some pretty awesome purple robes while potentially preparing yourself to be the next human sacrifice for Shub Niggerath's love. You'll get to stand amongst her dark, young, horrifying, pitch black monstrosities made of ropey tentacles that are twice as tall as a tree and stink like an open grave. If you're really, really lucky, then you'd even be able to drink Shub Niggerath's milk. Yes, you heard that correctly her milk. If Shub Niggerath was real, then her unrelenting cosmic love would be felt all across the cosmos, and we'd all happily fall under her warm eldritch embrace. Hold on a minute. I can almost feel it. Um, what was I saying? Sorry about that, folks. If you're a fan of this video, then leave a thumbs up for Shub Niggerath, our one true saviour. Also, to continue on with your Lovecraftian binge, feel free to hit that playlist floating shortly above. Perhaps I'll be seeing you next time. You've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. As always, I've been your human host, Jack Finch. And until next time, Shub Niggerath.